How's it going, guys? <clears throat> Long time no see. We got some um, tournament action here. I've been sitting at this table for about five minutes, just anticipating, anticipating for the cards to be dealt. I've been playing a lot of tournaments actually lately. My bread and butter is cash games, as well as tournaments, as well as sit and goes, as well as Omaha, No Limit Hold'em, Limit Hold'em, Horse, um, Raz, Do 7 Draw, Ace 5 Triple Draw, uh, Ace 5 Single Draw, uh, Deuce 5 Triple Draw. Uh, seven card stud, stud high low, uh, seven card stud, triple draw. I mean, I've been crushing all the games my entire life, but that's not the point. Um, the point is, uh, the World Series of Poker is going on right now as I'm recording. Um, so I mean, when, whenever the world, whenever the series is going, you know, um, I have to play the tournaments um, because. You know, you get sponsorship deals, you get press time, you get to sign autographs. So, you know, I've been grinding these free rolls. I mean, it's it's the least I can do for the poker community, um, is just to give you guys that exposure. So, I mean, here we go. We, the free roll has begun. It's about 8,500 people deep. Um... The largest stack already is 9,000. Tournament's been running for a few seconds. I'm in 16th place, which is good. Uh, let's see. And the payout is... Uh, there is no payout. Uh, it's just it's just another tournament you get to play in. So you win, you win here, you go deep, you get to play another tournament. Um, and that's good. So it looks like this guy gets it in good, and he gets it out bad. This guy survives with the kings. And now we're shorthanded. <coughs> so I'm in... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm playing free rolls again. Uh, I was playing some Facebook poker, then some Yahoo poker. Um, but, you know, I've... I had to pay a, a big fine uh, for tax evasion. Uh, it was a penalty on top of the interest, on top of uh, the taxes that were due. So three years of of no taxes. Um, I guess that that sent out an alarm, some type of signal to the IRS, and <coughs> you know. I, I had to pay it, uh, but they don't know is that, you know, I, I actually am not going to pay what they're telling me to pay. So, in essence, I'm still going to not pay the taxes, which is, you know, one of my main rules is you don't pay taxes um, just because, you know, it gives you that bankroll boost. But what I had to do with the money is I had to, I had to shelter it. Offshore accounts, you know, that's too easy. Uh, the IRS picks up on that. So I've been, I've been, uh, you know, investing it in business propositions. What the hell is going on with this tournament? I don't know, but, like, people keep busting, so... I get... Oh, okay, and we're back. So, I mean... It, you know, it's it's a f it's a funny game is that the I IRS, you know, they they think they can catch you, but they can't. And furthermore, I mean, I'm I'm living here in my mother's house, which is it's great because they don't know where I live. I have no address. I don't even have a, a driver's license. Nothing. So I mean, uh, what I'm saying is, if you need to run, you run. Uh, okay, here we pick up some um, some sweet stuff. You know, these guys, 
the beauty is they don't know about the squeeze play. And having played in the cash games, having played against the big boys, I know about the squeeze play. And so I'm going to show you show you what the squeeze play is. You you min bet, you know, it's a quick sign you're a fish. 330, they call you a fish. We jack it up, 390. There she is. Watch her blow. Watch this. I predict a fold, 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 fold. And it goes all in. Call. And a call. Okay. I see these guys. I see what they're doing. And I was dominated. Tens, ace, queen, king, nine. I was dominated on all fronts. And the, and the ace, queen wins. So just... I found out where I was at. Um... I avoided trouble that way. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> so I mean, I haven't been making a lot of videos because, you know, frankly, I had bigger things on my mind. Um, so I pulled out all my money, you know, it was like seven digits. And um, might have been six digits, might have been three, I don't know. I wasn't counting the decimals. Um, but you know, I thought to myself, okay, well, I'm young. Maybe I should get into some businesses because my poker success is probably going to be similar to my business success. Okay, so um, I, I invested in VCRs. I bought like close to, I think, uh, 750 VCRs is um you know I saw a guy on Craigslist he's selling bulk electronics so I asked him do you have VCRs and uh, he said yes and I said how many do you have and he said he has a ton uh I said hell man I'll buy them off you I'll buy all of them uh, the reason is I mean I, I think um VCRs are fairly undervalued I mean they've gone down in price with uh DVDs and um now you have Blu-ray. And we hit our straight here. Um, and we call. Good game. <coughs> so, um... You know, I mean, that's the thing about business. You got to be thinking long term. Sure, the price of VCRs has been going down for the last, you know, seven, nine, ten years. But I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm buying them at a low. Um, so far, I mean, I've been trying to sell them on eBay and Craigslist. Uh, out of the like seven fifty, I've sold um, two. Um, the guy he wanted one, but I said, hell, man. I got 750 of these things. I'll I'll give you a buy one get one free. And he was like, "Sure." So I mean, I've sold two. Um If any of you guys want VCRs, just uh send me a private message or comment cuz I I'll, I'll give you I'll give you one free if you like. And we end up splitting here. I had him dominated on the river. I I don't know why he took the pot. Uh, I guess we were both playing the board. But I mean now um I'm on my feet with the business. So, you know, things kicking into gear. I can focus on poker a little bit more. Build up my role. Um Facebook poker is soft. Um I cleaned house there. I met some chicks while I was doing it. They were impressed by my skills, and oh, let's see. Oh yes, here it is. I mean, that's the beauty of Facebook poker. Is I was playing under an alias, so nobody knew who I was. They didn't know I was Waterboat. Um, and the girls, you know, they thought I was um like a pro. Because I was playing so well, I was teaching them. I was I was playing, 
Um, so that was cool. But I mean, I, I quit after a while. Things got too hot. I mean, you know, I, I like I like women and stuff, but if it gets too hot, I'm out. So I mean, I I moved on to Yahoo Poker. That was even softer. Um, and the beauty about Yahoo Poker is you can request a time bank infinitely. Whereas on here on Full Tilt, well, I'll show you guys. After like five, ten seconds, a time bank will pop up here. You click it. After this goes down, it it sets off your time bank. It goes down to ten. That's it. You don't have any more time bank for any more hands. Well, guess what? On Yahoo Poker you can just keep clicking it and so what happens then is it's a war of attrition it's basically a war of attrition and you know these these players you know they're playing for fun you know to them it's play chips um, you know they're poor people and they have families um, I'm not poor I don't have much of a family and so I'm a I'm able to exploit that edge, and you know I just sit for m minutes, you know 10, 20, 15, 13 minutes, just clicking that till everybody leaves the table, and then I scoop up the pot. You know, I, after a while it really builds up, so I had a ton of chips, uh, but I quit that. Now I'm back to real poker, free rolls here on full tilt. So I mean I guess that uh that gives you guys some insight on what you guys have missed. Um I did well in school my sixth year. I got three D pluses and a C minus. Um everything went as planned. I was shooting for just f uh four D's but I actually I, I exceeded my expectations, uh, but I don't know why. But the teachers they weren't happy. My counselors. I mean, what can I say? I mean, I I told the lady, listen, um, I'm a full time grinder, and you know, D pluses or D pluses, F is failing. D plus isn't failing. I grind full time. I got a C minus as well. So we'll see how it goes. We're on break here. I'm gonna uh, call my sister. Huh? So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when play resumes. All right, guys. <coughs> We're back. I called my older sis. She uh She's in Poland. Uh on her way to Hungary. Her career here as a businesswoman, didn't plan out. It didn't it didn't go as according um, accordingly. So I mean, now she's overseas. I don't know. Her plan is to. Uh, Uh, I, I'm not really sure, but like, I guess in Hungary, uh, competitive eating is really big, um, and so she's she's gonna warm up in Poland. Um, she's gonna be eating sausages. So I mean, Polish sausages are actually, you know, if it comes to sausage eating, uh, Poland is number one. Um, 
Uh, the Czech Republic is number two. Uh, number three is Bulgaria. Number four is Germany. So she's she's going to the best country there is. Uh, the problem is um, the competitive eating stars. They don't they don't get as much money in Poland as you would in Hungary, uh, because in Hungary competitive eating is the number three sport after weightlifting and uh, <clears throat> I don't know what else I think it was handball or something so she's she's building up her stamina her intake in Poland and then she's gonna she's gonna go to Hungary she's pretty good I mean she weighs what about she, she weighs about a buck 90 and she's five feet tall so she's she's plump um, and she can stuff down some sausages. Uh, I've seen her. Um, if she wants, she can, you know, easily take in 19, 21 sausages. Her record is 27. So, I mean, I'm here. It's just me and my mom. I'm the man of the house. My mom, she wasn't happy back when I was grinding on uh, Facebook and Yahoo Poker. I mean, it was a rough stretch, but six months I learned my lesson is that I can beat, I can beat the the young and upcoming players, you know, the 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 kids who aren't old enough to deposit money online. I can beat them. Um, What's up guys, this is Waterboat. If you guys like my videos and want to see more, just click the subscribe button. If you guys aren't watching this on YouTube, go to YouTube, type in Jeter01, hit enter, and then you get all my videos. And we hit two pair. And we just let these boys hang themselves. Thank you. Nice doing business. So, I mean, she's away. Yeah, it sucks. I don't have that fresh breast milk anymore, but, you know, she she wasn't even lactating for the last um, nine months. I mean, uh, her kid is, is going to kindergarten, so... Uh, I mean, I, it's not a big deal if I don't have uh, fresh milk, but... Um, it's probably one of the reasons why I was struggling. Um, so, I mean, once I get that straightened out, I, I, I'm really feeling really positive about my future. And the beauty of about, about being the man of the house is that I don't take no shit from nobody. So, um, be it my mother, my grandmother, if they tell me to go do something, I tell them I'm the man of the house. And then I just look at their perplexed faces, and it, it, it tells you the whole story. They're like, oh, yeah, he's right. So, I mean, it's just great. I mean, uh, not, not, that, uh, not that I wish this upon anybody, especially at a young age, because uh, if you're the man of the house, that means your, your father probably isn't around. Oh, we have our draw here, so I mean, we see if a three or a five come on the turn to give us the back door and we're out. Simple as that. And we're out. So I mean, all things aside, I mean, I'm close with my grandma and my mother. Um, My dad, uh, he passed away when I was four years old. He was a big game hunter. They called him the wolf. Um, and, he, I mean, he, I hear I hear stories about him on the circuit all the time, you know. You know, these guys, Tyler Durden, the ruckus, I wouldn't be surprised if they heard stories about him. Because, uh, I mean, the guy was a top-notch hunter. Um and the method to his wolf hunting was it was very unique he actually patented it um, I mean he he devised a 
like a cloak that was uh, made out of wolf. Um, just everything. I mean, when he wore it, you thought that there was a wolf. You know, if you look at him, it's like, that's a wolf, but it was really my dad. Um, that's where he got his nickname from, is just his sick, his sick hunting skills. Um, and he was blessed because he could actually travel faster using all fours, meaning, um, like, he would be on all fours, like, his hands and feet, he could actually run faster like that than he could uh, with his two feet, like regular, the way you see people run regularly. He could actually outrun you. Um, and that's probably where we got our competitive nature from because for a while, you know, he was winning uh, like track races and stuff, but they eventually banned that form because nobody else could do it and they like felt it was cheating. So, I mean, that, that competitive spirit has gone to me in my poker success and my older sister and her competitive sausage eating. So it's, it's really a beautiful thing. And we hit here. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, he got, he got shot. That was the weird part. Uh, I mean, he was out hunting uh, in, his, in his wolf uniform, and somebody thought he was a wolf, and they shot him, like, you know, story stories has it is uh he got shot once, and just his wolf nature kicked in, and he started howling. Um, and then the hunter like really knew it was a wolf. Um, if if he would have started like screaming and said I'm not a wolf, maybe they wouldn't have shot him four more times. But the the first shot was just grazed him in the kneecap. And that that made him howl, and then they uh, shot him in the torso twice and once in the head. So I mean, uh, you know, the legend passes on. Um, I always wanted uh, my nickname to be the Wolf, but you know, I felt you know that's that's too much. That's that's that was my father's nickname, so I nicknamed myself the the poker player. I mean, it's short and it describes you well. Although some people, they call me a water boat. So, I mean, uh, this table's been real, real tough for a free roll. No wiggle room. Um, the squeeze is there, I see it. Do I want to play back at him? Um, I probably don't, so I'll just let go. And I had a live card, my queen was good. But I mean, I sensed it. The set came, and uh, I would have been out, almost. CWP has 55 chips. I'm definitely looking to bust him here. And he makes a good fold. So, I mean, he's playing well. This guy looks like he has a lot of chips. So, I mean, we're working on our notes while there's not too much going. I feel like I've been yapping too much about my life. <coughs> it probably bores you all, so I'm going to focus on the poker. And this guy, he looks scared. He probably sees me. Um, and that's fine. I pick up some some nice cards here. Oh man, this guy's making solid folds. I don't have a read on him, but the beauty about taking notes is if I don't have a read on this player, I can just look around him and see if there's some notes. And there are there are notes. One is great player here, smart folds. So I mean right off the bat I can tell this guy's probably solid. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, limp along here, and now I can make a note for him. It's probably solid. 
when we hit two pair we were hitting a pair no matter what and um, now we can see what happens bad 900 let's just see what happens here and we take it down it's time to rub it into these guys faces I'm I'm starting to open up here. This guy's la down to his last five. I think I'm going to have to fold if he goes all in because that tells me he's strong. Uh he does go all in. Um my read on him are smart folds. So well, let's think about that now. If he's making smart folds and bless me, I have 25 seconds to think this over. If he's making smart folds, that means he's probably making stupid raises. I mean, doesn't that make sense? Isn't that how logic works? I mean, smart, stupid, those are the opposite. Fold raises, those are the opposite. So, it works, you know, right? So, I actually, I'm going to call here. We've got live outs. And we hit our draw, and we almost made it out alive. Um, not too much damage. So I mean, now I see these guys. You know, they're not as solid as I put them on. This guy, he should have just folded or checked. I'm sorry, he couldn't fold. And the rule of congeniality, um, it translates. It's a rule of translation. One note passes on to another. Um, that's if, you're, if your notes are hazy. I haven't played with these guys that much. All in. And we have a dry side pot here. So, I mean, when you have two players playing and one player is all in and you have absolutely nothing, um, it's, it's best to bluff at it. So we put out a K, see if he wants to take a stab at this. And he does. And we have ace, two, three, four... What do we have? Ace, two, three, four. Ace, two, three, four. That's a four card straight. We don't have a straight. We're out. And we should have called. We should have called, man. Damn it. Oh, shoot. I mean, I have, m I have more poker knowledge in an ass hair. I have more poker knowledge in an ass hair than these two imbeciles. CWP. Thanks for protection. What protection? What the hell's this guy talking about? bunch of typical typical you know get lucky this guy gets lucky this guy gets lucky let's see if I can get lucky and there it is I like my chances ooh ooh yeah put a three out there Make it hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I mean, that's the thing about tournaments. You got to go all in sometimes. You got to get lucky. Whew. 
This is getting exciting. Let's see. How many more players? Only 4,000 to go. We make a cheap bluff. Cheap bluff, you know, you don't want to invest too much. You invest too much, I mean, you can be caught with your pants down. And there it is. We get out. Easy game. Real easy. So everybody's shut up. They see I have some chips now. That's what I like to see, man. It's the same fear I saw on the players' faces on Facebook. Except for on Facebook, I mean, you can choose an image. So, I mean, I can see, I can see their eyes. Yahoo Poker, not so much. But that's what I like about Full Poker. I see the eyes of everybody. This guy's scared. This guy has one eye. This guy is a pilot. This guy is cool. This guy is a pedophile. This guy is probably Asian. This guy's cool. This guy's dangerous. I can't see my eyes. So I don't know. And there it is. And here it comes. Oh, this feels good. Who wants to play with me? So I mean, I'm I'm showing you guys some tricks here. When I'm going all in, I hope he folds his his pairs and he calls. Oh, sweet. And he says, nice hand. Um, I take it as a man. You know, if I was a little girl, maybe I'd say thank you. But, you know, we're playing for blood at this point. I mean, the final table's approaching. Only four more thousand players to go. Harpoon 85. Looks like he was born in 1985, making him my elder. And I ask for forgiveness. After all, he is my elder. And I can learn some stuff from him. He's been around the block, I can tell. You know, born in 85, that's mid-80s, man. It's too much to invest. I'm out. So I'm slowly chipping up. And we have the kings now. I can call, I can raise, or I can fold. Um... I mean, folding at this point is, you know, it's too marginal. We go for a set. If we miss, we're out. If we hit, we're in. We're out. He's 12 years old. Check fold. Fold to any bet. <sighs> so I mean so far you know no new strategies I'm not twilighting right now 
Um, you know, I have all those strategies in my arsenal, but you know, it's like, you know, it's like I'm playing, I'm playing the series. I've got so many tournaments. You know, there's gonna be some tournaments where uh, I'm just taking it easy. This is one of them. Um, here we have the chip lead. We have to bust this guy. Um, once again, we miss. There's a dry side pot. There's nothing in the side pot. So we should bluff. He's he's doing the betting for us, so we just call. We miss the turn. There's one street left. One more street. Do we go all in? Do we min bet? We bet 69. And we miss. We miss our hand. We bet 68. We, we bet less. We bet 68. Let's see what he does. He has it. Good for him. Well done. CWP is out. Oh, yeah. We're climbing up. We're climbing up closer and closer. Two sixes in the hole. Jeez, man. The weather is not pretty as I look out my window. I mean, there's like clouds and fog. I don't like it. That's why I'm, I'm heading down south after I finish this video. Literally, I'm, I'm traveling down south, and and my mom, she's freaking angry that I'm holding up the trip just to shoot this video. But like, like y'all know, all I, all I say is two magic words: I'm the man of the house. But I mean, um. As soon as I final table or win this thing or bust, you know, God forbid, I'll be traveling down south where it's significantly warmer. And, you know, I might take it easy. I might spend a week there, maybe a month. That's the beauty of playing professionally. Um, specifically, I mean, if you're grinding free rolls, um, your cost of living is less because you don't have to pay for the tournaments. So... I mean, I can travel the world. It's it's beautiful. And, you know, down down in the south, there's pools there. It's beautiful, you know. I've been swimming laps in my bathtub. I mean, I got a big bathtub, but it's not fun to sw swim laps because there's only a few feet. So, I mean, when swimmers ask me, how many laps do I swim, I, I tell them the truth. It's like, I swim like 1,000 laps a day, sometimes more. And it's true, because I'm in my bathtub. One lap is relatively short. I mean, like, I can, I can't, I can't even stretch my whole body out horizontally because it won't fit so I mean I just crunch myself up kind of like a ball and you know I do the laps like that but you know down and down in the southern portion of this hemisphere I mean there's more pools because it's the south so that's good so hopefully I'll come back with some some cool stories or something. And I'm all in. I hit my pair, got the back doors to go along with it. I can take an 8, 9, or spades. I can't have any spades at this point. And I take it down. And I mean... 
we're reaching the bubble okay this is the point where people are going to be playing tight so we're starting to go all in you know people don't want to be playing for their stacks and we get into some trouble impressive he picked up aces at the right time um, the beauty about that is if you had aces the last hand that means the next hand you're probably not going to have it um, so when you when somebody busts you kind of like with pocket aces then you just do it again because they won't have aces again it's it's like a if you run a regression a statistical analysis and uh, you take the standard deviation um, and you square it it's like it's like zero percent and there it is <laughs> Jesus man I'm, I'm, my reads are freaking sick today I mean I actually read a magazine in less than 45 minutes I mean, I'm pumped right now. It's it's probably too much, the excitement I'm feeling. I mean, it could be several things. It could be one, um, just that wolf nature from my father's genetics is kicking in. It could be that. Um, two, I could be just happy that I've sheltered myself from taxes. I mean, literally sheltered myself. I mean, no IRS agent will be able to find me. Um, three, it could be that, you know, my business outlook is looking amazing. Um, especially if, if the value of VCRs goes up in the coming years. I mean, it's, it's a long-term project. It's a long-term investment. That's the thing about investments. If they're short-term, that means you make less money because it's only short-term. But if it's long-term, that means you'll make more money because it's long term kinda like tournaments the longer you play the more money you make we can't raise to 90 so let's make it 900 or it could be that I'm just stacking fools left and right here and there it is we have him again ooh nasty Jeez, man. That stings a bit. Ah, oh, this guy's... He's rubbing it in. And this is me getting into the guy's head here, okay? Is, you know, I, I say stuff that, you know, throws my opponents off. You know, he's saying, yeah, yeah, he won. And I, I tell him, rub my scrotum. Rub it with your hand. Damn it. Damn it. I misspelled scrotum. The joke is on me. The joke is on me. They don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Ah. Oh. Maybe maybe if they pronounce the C as a S instead of a K. So I mean this guy's 
he's probably confused somewhat at this point, and we've gotten into his head with the chat, you know, as a beautiful weapon. The chat is there, the game's there, um, just the cards aren't there. And I, I used to do this when I was playing the live circuit back when I was younger. I mean, um, we old school players, I mean, some of you online folks, you probably don't know this, but before the big poker boom, I mean, we had to grind. We had to grind in the casinos. And so, I mean, I'd do the same thing. I mean, I'd figure out who my opponents were. You know, back then when we were playing in the big game, it was the, it was the same guys I was playing day in and day out. So, I mean, I mean, we weren't exactly close friends, but, I mean, we knew each other fairly well. And, you know, all I had to do was figure out where these guys live. You know, I'll look it up in a phone book. You know, I, I ask them. And then I have to figure out when are they out of their house, you know. I stake out their house. Maybe I just ask them, say, hey, man, where do you live? Cool, cool, yeah. I know that neighborhood. It's a nice neighborhood. And I'll say, so, man, uh, you you usually playing in the casino on these hours, or you, when are you out of the house? Yeah. Going on vacation? Stuff like that. And what that allowed me to do, it, it allowed me to exploit them so that at the tables I profit. Set over set. This guy's running like the sun, man. And so, I mean, it was beautiful because if you have access to somebody's house, I mean, you're able to get into their head. And so if I knew a guy was going to play a session with me, you know, I'd go to his house and I'd take a crap in his toilet, but I don't flush it. I don't wipe my ass. Nothing. I just leave the crap there, pure and simple. And then when he comes back to his house and he sees that, I mean, that disturbs him. <clears throat> and I mean, how can you focus when you're at the casino, when you're at the table, when you're like, somebody broke into my house and left a poo in my toilet? I mean, it's hard. And I can see it on their faces as they play. I mean, they'd even talk about it. And I'd tell them, yeah, that's sick. What kind of a sick person would do that? When really it's it's not sick at all. It's it's It makes perfect sense if you think about it. So, I mean, here, I don't, I don't know where he lives, but he's at my table, and I can mess with him. And now it's time to put on some moves. Let's see how he reacts to this 290 raise. It's another 130 to him. Another 33%. And we get a call here and we get a call there. And now these boys going to pay. I mean, if this was a real live game, I'd wait for the TV crew to show up. I'm all in. Notorious. Yes. The Jack Nine calls. And he learns his lesson. I mean, I'm notorious for just telling people I'm all in because I do it so much. And now we're chipping up slowly. Now it's time to put things into perspective here. I and mean, when we have a real shot, we hit our back door. I mean, the chances are it might not come. So we're out. Whew. So, I mean, what the hell was I talking? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, there's not, not, not much more to talk about uh, in terms of uh, messing with people.
And we're just dipping our toes here. And there it is. I mean, if you fold, you don't hit your hand. I could bet. Think about that. What would happen if I bet? You know, these guys, they might call. They might call. But if I check, if I check, maybe, maybe they'll pick something up. They'll pair a hand. They'll get a draw. And then they'll pay me off. It's called a slow play. And there it is. My arch nemesis. He might have picked something up. And now I just call. And there it is. One thousand? One thousand almost. Let's hope he does it. Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. Only 39 more. I know he's going to call the alt-win. I just know it. He'd be silly not to. Here it is. I don't have any more time. I'm all in. Is he thinking of folding? It could be. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, see you guys next time.